One of biggest here bringing you another video today. We're gonna go through Colosseum smoothie on Chaos difficulty on one piece treasure cruise First we're gonna take on the cracker and we're gonna be using a snake man team This team is basically good because the captain doesn't really matter yeah, the captain basically doesn't matter just as long as it's like either a rainbow captain or you pick up uh, different units that accommodate the captain of your choice. And we're going to be using the special ship just so that I don't have to stall. But, but stalling is very easy with these teams. Actually, with these stages. With just the turtles, you can stall out like eight, eight to nine turns, and the rest you can stall out here. So when we get to stage four, it's gonna be against Randolph and Kingbaum. There's basically just one thing to remember about this stage. Is that remember to kill Kim Baum on the first turn because if you don't he's gonna limit our specials by two per turn so what we're gonna do here is use Kuma special to get rid of the damage reduction and you can hit King Baum while we're at it and then just use snake man special and we can we can just tap our way through. On Cracker, Cracker doesn't basically do anything before you kill him. He just gives you... Well, okay, he does quite a lot. But like, uh, Despair for 5 turns. Gives us block orbs and locks them for two turns. So basically just get off, get, off, get rid of the despair, get rid of the block orbs, smash him down. And he's going to hit us really hard when he dies. I'm not quite sure uh, how much he does. It says, it says 20,000, but I, I don't believe it. So first we're going to take out the despair and get some damage reduction. Then we already have our orb boost, so uh, let's use Frankie to get a new universal type boost. And then use Neko to get ourselves some matching orbs. And then use Luffy again to get some more damage. And then just tap away. This is major overkill for this. But just, that just goes to show that, that we can basically use anything we want. The most simplest thing would probably be to use a treasure map Sabo team, be to gear 4 team. Once again, you can replace it with a, basically any uh, rainbow captain of your choice or just uh, replace the units with a similar specials that just get rid of the debuffs. Frankie works fine. Uh, I think NL works fine as well. What else? A Dex, Dex Captain. Uh, Kung Fu Luffy. Things like that. Once again, we're going to use the special ship, but normally we would stall here. The cannonmen on the front are bound to hit you hard, so remember to kill them first. On 
stage four, we're gonna battle against Bavaroi. Bavaroi is not... He's probably the easiest mini-boss of all. He's not gonna do any, any debuffs on us. He's not gonna give any buffs to himself. All he does is cut our health. Oh, and, and shuffle our orbs. I don't, I'm not sure if the block orbs are like guaranteed. If you're guaranteed to get one block orb or more, but it's possible to get block orbs. So against Bavaroa, we're just gonna use our Luffy special. And with a lot of matching orbs with the Luffy special, which we should be just fine. Yeah, we're fine. Against Daifuku. Daifuku silences us for three turns. That's why we have our uh, Colosseum Rayleigh. We get rid of the silence. He boosts his defense to about 80,000 for two turns. Which is why we're going to use Neptune. But first, let's use Nami. Again, Nami can be replaced with with any orb booster that fits your team. Then we're gonna get rid of the defense. And uh, Oven is here just to bring us orbs in case we don't get matching orbs with Luffy and Rayleigh. Also to bring us some extra damage. So uh, whatever your fits whatever fits your team, you can just add a add an extra buff there. Yeah, and once again, let's just tap away. We don't even need to hit our perfects. Easy. Now, if you're going to stall here, uh, from turn 4 onwards, he's going to uh, bind two random characters for five turns. And this is... This is like after turn 4, he's going to do it every turn. So you don't want to... Don't want to go there. Against Smoothie itself, we're going to be using a sort of a half zombie team, a super stalling team. We have our special ship, ship so that we don't need to stall out the specials, but, but it's very possible. On, on stage 3, Cracker is... he hits so, so little that, that we can practically infinitely stall out there. Just to gather our specials once again. Yeah. But like, probably the key point of this battle is the stage more two. Yeah, stage two. Tap out the ladies on the front. And now even though we do have our specials at max, we do want to stall out some. Because we want to gather uh, gather over heal for the Enel special. On stage four against Daifuku, we we really want to one shot him because this team doesn't do a lot of attack damage <laughs> so we want to gather like a hundred and eighty thousand overheal before entering Daifuku so yeah stage two the trees on the front they're gonna they're gonna shuffle our orbs, and they can give out block orbs. The bunnies in the back, they're gonna seal our ship for 10 turns per, per rabbit. So at maximum, they're gonna seal our ship for 30 turns. Now, depending on your ship, it doesn't affect us at all. It doesn't affect this team. But for most people, you kind of want to avoid that. So we're gonna use our shank special. 
to get some tap timing bonuses. And we're just gonna kill the bunnies in the back. And we'll kill one more in the front. Now, once again, we want to stall out to get more tap timing bonus. No, to, to get more healing. More healing for you now. How much heal do we have? About 60,000. We can just stall out on Cracker. Yeah, Cracker's gonna despair us for eight turns, which, gonna, which is gonna turn to five with the max sockets. So we'll use Neptune to get rid of the despair. And once again, let's use Shanks. So let's get a few orbs to get some tap timing. So yeah, Cracker doesn't do anything based on health. When he dies, he's gonna cut our health by 60%, so it's not gonna be a set amount of damage. He's, he's never going to kill us. He's just gonna make our health really low. Okay, let's see. We have 72,000. Let's hit the Shirahoshi special. We're 124. Okay, we. I really need to stall out here. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a quick cut here, and we'll see you. See you guys when I have stalled out enough. A few moments later. Okay, so now we've stalled enough. Our our beyond max health is 183, which is enough to kill the Daifuku. Normally we don't have to stall out this much against Cracker, because we, have, we would have stalled out in the earlier stages. But since we're using the special ship, I didn't really do it, so I had to stall out more on the cracker so against daifuku let's just get rid of the silence and we'll use our nl special to to lay waste on daifuku and now we've basically won we'll just activate our magellan special let the poison do its racking and we'll put it on autoplay <laughs> Smoothie doesn't hit that much. I actually forgot to do this. No. So Smoothie gives us badly matching orbs. He, she has delay protection and poison and strong poison protection, both for 99 turns. When we enter the stage, she's gonna clear all attack and orb boosts. I'm not sure if she clears all the buffs, but those are the two that I've confirmed. She's also going to get a 3 hit perfect barrier for 99 turns, so if you're not going to do the poison way, you might want to go through the barrier penetration way. Pitsu Akainu is, is a very plausible choice if you can manage to get past Daifuku in one turn. And quite same as with the... Uh, crack no Daifuku. Uh, at turn two and for and moving forward, Smoothie is gonna bind two random sailors for four turns, and this repeats every single turn. And when Smoothie dies, she's gonna revive to about two million HP. She's gonna change color to Dex, like we're gonna see. And she's gonna blow away a random sailor. Now I wonder if she's gonna pick someone that doesn't have 
persistence for blow away. Yeah, she blew away our NL. Doesn't matter. Our our Magellan special, our toxic is still in play, and she's gonna just die like that. She's also gonna give us ten turns of attack down, and she has a special interrupt for orb and type boost, where she's gonna clear all buffs and she's gonna seal your orbs for ten turns. So if you're gonna use a orb boost or type boost, make sure you have them on when you enter the stage. Which actually doesn't matter because she's gonna clear attack and orb boosts. So just don't use them. <laughs> so chain locks, conditional boost, um, affinity boosts. What else? I think that's it. Chain boost. If you're not gonna use chain locker, use chain boost. Um, health cuts are not gonna work unless you have uh, six plus law on your team. But yeah, that was a very confusing way of explaining things for Colosseum Smoothie. Have fun!